At the end of the continuous flow phase, the biofilm covered slides are ready for sampling. To remove a slide, turn the pump off. Carefully remove the needle and tubing from the injection port valve and dispose of the needle into a sharps container. Flame sterilize the slide removal tool that accompanies the reactor and a hemostat. Loosen the thumb screws and remove the lid. Place the tool in the groove that runs down the middle of each channel and carefully lift the slide. Grasp the edge of the slide with the hemostat and gently remove it from the channel. Rinse loosely attached cells by gently dipping the slide into 45 milliliter sterile buffered dilution water in a 50 milliliter conical vial. To harvest the biofilm from the slide, place it in a beaker containing 45 milliliter sterile buffered dilution water. Use a sterile policeman spatula to scrape the biofilm from the surface into the liquid. Rinse the spatula in the liquid and repeat two to three more times. Hold the slide at a 60 degree angle over the beaker and pipette five one milliliter volumes of sterile buffered dilution water over the slide surface. The total volume in the beaker is now 50 milliliters. To disaggregate the biofilm, use a homogenizer set at 20,500 RPM, plus or minus 5,000 RPM. The settings are shown here. Working in a biosafety cabinet, homogenize the biofilm in the beaker for 30 seconds using a sterile homogenization probe. If more than one sample will be processed, use a new disposable probe or clean the probe between samples as follows. Homogenize a 9 milliliter sterile dilution blank for 30 seconds. Homogenize 9 milliliter 70% ethanol for 15 seconds. Loosen probe to allow it to soak in the ethanol for one minute. Shake off the excess ethanol. Reattach the probe and homogenize two more 9 milliliter dilution blanks for 30 seconds each. The disaggregated biofilm sample is ready for serial dilutions. Enumerate viable cells using the drop plate or other appropriate plating method. Calculate the biofilm log density using the formulas described in knowledge sharing articles shown on the Center for Biofilm Engineering website. A link to the documents can be found below.